it's your girl Rachel and today I'm going to be showing you outfit ideas for one piece of clothing. Do you feel like you need to spend a lot of money on clothes in order to feel fashionable? Well, there's no need. If you have some of the basics, such as a solid colored, well-fitting dress, then you can make multiple outfit combinations with whatever you already have in your closet. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, we're going to start with the most essential item, the little black dress. This dress has a straight across neckline and a two inch thick straps that accentuate the shoulders and neckline. I personally love a straight cut or bodycon dress because it's the most versatile thing for different styling techniques. And I gotta make sure it's comfy cause I can't do beauty is pain no more, sorry. The first tip I wanted to share is to pair your black dress with some good quality, high-waisted professional pants. I tucked in my dress by folding it in half upwards towards my belly button so that it doesn't bunch up and show through the pants. This outfit is my absolute favorite because the pants feel so free and so secure. As much as I love bodycon dresses, I always feel afraid that my dress will ride up my legs and show a little too much skin, you know? To pull off the illusion of a jumpsuit, I use a 2 inch black belt to cinch my waist and cover up the line between the clothing. Now the jumpsuit looks so put together and cohesive. To complete the outfit, I took a giant teddy bear coat from Zara and draped it over, and this is the ultimate power move for winter and fall. I even look like one of those members from Bling Empire. <laughs> For this outfit, I put on these flowy, lightweight pants that have button details on the side and a front pleat that gives a nice, flared out effect. I use the same fold and tuck method as the first outfit to smooth out all the edges. The vertical stripes are perfect for petite gals like me to give the illusion of looking taller and longer. To match the black, cream, and neutral tones of the pants, I put on black ankle boots and a faux suede cream coat. This outfit is a more casual version of the first, but I love showing some variation in style and in color scheme. I'm taking my brown leather Doc Martens and pairing it with a chunky brown scarf. This type of scarf is too thick to wear around my neck, so I used it as a piece of outerwear instead. It looks like a cardigan, poncho thing, but I love it. My favorite part about chunky scarves like this is that they look like blankets and you can wear them out in public. I use the belt to keep everything secure and cinch my waist, but it's very restraining. It gives me little T-Rex arms. I mean, the outfit looks cute as long as you keep your arms down. <laughs> Super easy styling tip is to use any type of hoodie, flannel, or button-up shirt tied around your waist as an accent piece for the dress. It turns a formal dress into a casual errand day outfit which is perfect for more everyday wear. Since we're off to run errands, I tied my hair up in a messy ponytail and called it a day. I went with a white on white theme with white adidas NMDs, but to be honest, wearing white shoes outdoors gives me anxiety. It's like ruining a perfectly white canvas with mediocre painting skills. But these are already dirty, so I guess I gotta live with it. <laughs> this dress pairs really well with skirts, especially ones with a flared out or puffy silhouette. It accentuates the waist and gives an hourglass shape. Again, I'm taking a thick banded black belt to tie around my waist to make the outfit look like one cohesive piece. The outfit looks good just like this, but if you want to be more conservative, or warm, throw on a cardigan for extra coverage. The black and white color scheme makes it very easy to pair with different accent colors. I added gold embellishment with the belt, but you can customize it with silver or pops of your favorite color instead. This dress goes really well with sweaters or hoodies. I threw on an oversized sweater that doesn't give me much shape, so I'm taking a hair tie, grabbing all the excess fabric, twisting it, tying it, and tucking it underneath my sweater. On the front, I folded it inwards to give it a cropped look. Throw on some comfy shoes, tie up your hair with a scrunchie, and you're done. When you're too lazy to dress up, but want to embody that college campus vibe, this is the go-to. Okay, so I wanted to try out a style I don't normally wear, and it's looking pretty nice. Gives me Instagram model kind of vibes. 
Any type of outerwear works well with this dress, especially when the accessories match the jacket. I use an olive jacket as a subdued, contrasting color, along with black and gold accessories. I have a layered black choker and gold necklace, black and gold earrings with a cool funky face on it, and a gold emblem on the belt to make everything come together in all the right ways. Here's the old classic t-shirt and dress combo. This shirt is a mock neck short sleeve t-shirt from Uniqlo and I feel like the straight neckline goes really well with any layered top. For this look I decided to do a half do and tie up my hair with a white ribbon. I kind of feel like Belle. Whoa, 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 wait. There you go. The look is complete now. Now you can look like a casual Disney princess or a regular church girl that you can bring home to your parents. Switching up the sweet with the edgy. The primary piece in this outfit is the double layered bomber jacket. Using the jacket as inspiration, I accessorize using the accent colors like the silver and gray details. I threw on combat boots with silver embellishments, black and gray choker, silver hoop earrings, and a chain belt around my waist. Wearing all black makes you kind of feel like a badass, huh? For this outfit, I'm wearing a super soft puff sleeve shirt from Uniqlo. And again, layered tops look amazing with this neckline. I took this dusty pink corduroy looking beret cap and it surprisingly matches really well. Because the black dress is such a contrasting color, any light or pastel matching set works really well to make every piece of the outfit stand out. This is ultimate cafe study vibes. Now I gotta buy a drink, get 50 cent refills, and take up a spot for 7 hours until they kick me out. Yep, life of a college student. <laughs> So I took an oversized button-up men's shirt and buttoned it halfway down. Then I tied a loose knot at the front to make it look like a bow, and there you go! Gives you a nice shape, a little poof at the top, and a little booty in the back. Add a matching hat, do a trick, and pretend I actually made it. This is the ultimate errand day outfit, which you end up wearing all the time without realizing it. Why? Maybe it's because once you're an adult you realize life is just made up of monotonous day-to-day -day activities like buying groceries and filling up gas, and you want an outfit that looks cute but doesn't inconvenience the daily grind. Yep, that's a life. <laughs> see a pattern here? Matching contrasting colors really pop with a little black dress. I put on a crop sweater, which frankly pairs really well with a skin tight dress so there's no air penetration to make you cold. I also put on these really impractical 4 inch stiletto heels that I'm surprised I can walk in. This type of outfit is perfect for clubbing, bars, or a girls night out. And yeah, that's about it for the outfits. Go out and paint the town red. That's it for all the styles and tips that I wanted to show you guys. If you want to try out something for yourself, I put links in the description of all the clothes and accessories that I use, including some cheap dupes so you can cop the style. Let me know in the comments what your favorite outfit was and what style you're going to try out next for your fashion venture. Leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like fashion and lifestyle content. I post once a week and I'm coming out with another outfit video pretty soon, so stay tuned to that. Thanks for watching everybody and I'll see you in the next one.